Being immersed in the so-called spiritual community, I've spent a lot of time around people we may refer to as hippies. And there's one lifestyle quality I started noticing about this group. Hippies love being barefoot. What percentage of your life would you say you're barefoot? As often as I can, at least once a day. At first, this whole barefoot thing didn't seem very practical or safe, and it seems like it would be pretty uncomfortable. What if you step on something sharp and slice your foot open? But more and more, I started noticing the barefoot hippies were walking around like it was nothing. So I just started asking them the question, like, why are you barefoot? We're meant to walk barefoot. We have an amazing suspension system in our feet, and it's just healthier for us to be walking barefoot. I choose to do this to get closer to Pachamama. To get closer to Pachamama, I get closer to myself. And sometimes I get even a little closer to her and I put her on my face. <laughs> when we're barefoot, it allows us to slow down because we have to look at what is in our surroundings and be here in this moment. Then I started seeing all of you commenting more and more asking me to make a video about something called earthing. So I looked it up and I discovered that earthing is pretty much just the practice of putting your bare feet on the earth. And to be honest, at first I was like, okay, there's no way I'm making a video about that. I kind of laughed it off. Then I came across this documentary called The Earthing Movie, The Remarkable Science of Grounding. The science of grounding. I didn't know what that meant, but I was intrigued. So I watched the documentary and I was actually so blown away by the information in this film. They basically break down the actual science and research of how this whole earthing thing, aka connecting your bare feet with the earth, how this all actually works and may have some real potential health benefits. So I highly recommend watching the earthing movie if you are interested in the science of grounding because they have engineers, MDs, and the leading researchers on this that are way more qualified than me to actually break down all the science. So I'm gonna add a link in the video description if you guys wanna check out this documentary. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my experience being fully barefoot for one week. And I'm also gonna be breaking down some of the science and research that exists on earthing. For my week-long barefoot challenge, it was super important to me that I could be fully immersed in nature and get the full earthing experience. So I was thinking what better time to do this than while I was completing my five-day water fast in the mountains of Costa Rica. And because I was completing this five-day water fast with my dear friend and number one earth child, Kylie Mack, we decided to also take on this barefoot challenge together. Healing power was of the uh, of stinkiness. This is the, the grossest thing I've ever smelled, but somehow we're putting it all over our body. So how does earthing actually work? Well, let me explain. The earth is a conductor of energy like all living beings. We don't always think about it, but we are literally living on a giant battery slash living, breathing being. Our planet, Mother Earth. She is alive and charged with electromagnetic frequency. So yes, the earth actually has an electrical charge and emits electrons and negative ions. So when the human body touches the earth directly, there is a trans transfer of electrons to the human body. And essentially these electrons can neutralize free radicals in the body, therefore reducing inflammation. And because most of our modern lifestyle related diseases are inflammation based, the anti-inflammatory effect of grounding is where we see real health benefits of connecting our bare feet and bare skin with mother earth. The week before the barefoot challenge, I sort of got myself warmed up. I was at Punta Mona in Costa Rica for New Year's and I was around a lot of barefoot hippies there. They were just a lot of toes. I joined in on the fun. I'm like, why not be barefoot for this week? So for most of that week, I was barefoot. So I sort of did like two weeks of being fully barefoot. I had shoes on a couple times as we were doing like deep jungle treks and stuff, but I saw some people doing the deep jungle treks completely barefoot. And that did not look fun to me. It looked very challenging, but you know, props to them. I got very lucky because the week before my barefoot experience, I met this guy named Jeff who was able to give me tons of information on earthing and share his experience of doing this for two years straight. Do you walk barefoot sure. in the city too? Yeah. Do you go into stores barefoot? See, this is the inquiry process. It's like, what stores do I really need to go into? Mm. Why do I go there? The common culture of shoes 
is, I would argue, the biggest health problem of our time because of how little people know about what they're doing when they put on a pair of shoes. In your opinion, is it more dangerous to wear shoes than not wear shoes? Absolutely. I went to medical school and studied orthopedics, which is bones and muscles. I had the amazing fortune of connecting with one of the sort of leaders of foot and ankle reconstruction worldwide, and he was my mentor. So I learned about foot and ankle surgery in medical school, but the, the whole of medical school and the healthcare system totally crushed me. And on that journey, I ended up starting a, a podiatry business with a, with a business partner. He was a podiatrist and I was running all the business side, but I had all this foundational knowledge of the foot and ankle and foot and ankle medicine. So I started to, to really dig in and read and went deep in the rabbit hole until it all became clear that this barefoot thing is really the way. It transformed my entire life and it was my doorway to remembering you know, my truth. I have fear around stepping on something and then fucking up my feet. So what should I do? You're gonna have to slow down. You're gonna have to feel it all. You're gonna have to feel it all. Be present. It is day one of my earthing experience. For some reason, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. I did go to bed at 9 p.m. last night, so I got a really early night. So I'm gonna take a walk by the river here and I'm gonna go for a little swim and just spend some time in nature this morning and get my feet on the earth and just really grounds in for the day ahead. I feel like I'm somebody who definitely rushes and I do have trouble slowing down. So walking barefoot is a really good practice for me for mindfully walking slowly and just taking my time. If you're barefoot and you're like rushing around the jungle and you're not looking where you're going, your foot's gonna get We have been walking barefoot in the mountain slash jungle for probably more than an hour. I feel like this is the longest I've ever gone walking barefoot through the woods. How does it feel? It feels pretty damn good. Right? I feel so connected. Minus a prickle here and there, but it's not that bad, right? No, even the little pricks and pains. It's fine. It's like, it's mm -hmm. worth it. It's worth it, baby. It feels so damn good. <laughs> the one thing that I don't like about earthing is you have to keep your head down to look at the ground and make sure you're not stepping on anything. And I don't like my head being down because our heads are already down so much for like looking at tech and our phones and it's not good for our posture and our, our neck. So I guess that's my one caveat. I feel like if you're on a beach, maybe that's like the only time you can maybe like earth and look around, you know? Right. But definitely not in Costa Rica. No, like we have to be so careful here. A couple adventure wounds. Once I wash them out and just get them clean, should be good. Even just that hike has already been toughening up the skin, which I don't know if I necessarily want. Like I kind of want my feet to be pretty and soft and pedicured and they're disgusting right now. Wee! So here's a quick overview of just some of the research that we have on grounding thus far. In the first study of grounding, 20 patients with various inflammatory conditions were administered earthing therapy. Some were given an earthing sleep system while others were using conductive electrode skin patches. Overall, grounding significantly reduced inflammation, improved blood circulation, pain reduction, and sleep. In another study involving 40 participants, infrared images showed better blood circulation throughout the face and the torso for the grounded group. Once you put your feet into a pair of shoes, you're disconnected from the earth. Rubber and plastic don't conduct electricity. And that's really what earthing is about on a physical level, on an emotional level, learning to be okay with feeling. When you walk around barefoot, especially when you're starting, a lot of feelings come up. Pain is a feeling that we've been told is bad or wrong. Pain is part of life and it's part of growth. Um, I haven't talked about this a lot but there's some really intense things happening at home with my family but no matter what you're doing in life there are always going to be challenges that come up and things you're going to have to face and deal with and you can still be in a beautiful state while dealing with pain and that is uh, something I'm really putting into practice here this week. Being in nature I feel that much more connected to the spirit realm to what's beyond just the the human experience and I'm learning so much. And not only do we have a growing body of research to support the benefits of earthing, but there's an even larger body of research that shows the physical and psychological benefits of being immersed in nature. Researchers in Japan have tested how nature immersion can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, reduce cortisol levels, and improve immune function. It's kind of silly when you think about it because we're always looking to modern science 
science and research for proof. But something as simple as connecting your bare feet with the earth and immersing yourself in nature, this is something that is so innate and sort of just common sense. I don't think we really need all of this research and science to know that immersing ourselves in nature and putting our feet on the earth is healing. It is my final day and it honestly feels so natural to me now. I don't even feel like I want to wear shoes. It's so interesting that throughout this week it's become almost second nature in just five days and it's something I really want to continue and incorporate into my life way more than I was before. I feel like I was always wearing shoes. I was barely ever barefoot and now this is something that I really want to be more of an integral part of my life. After having done this experiment and after having learned about all the science and research on it, I am now in actively incorporating this into my life. I did a barefoot hike this week and I did this barefoot run on the beach at sunset and got my feet in the sand and it just felt so fucking good. Like it felt so right. I'm like, how could I ever have run on the sand with shoes? What am I doing? Like, what was I thinking? I feel like I have that new perception now where my body just craves that it craves my bare feet being on the earth the earth is the healing you are your healer your connection to the earth is what awakens your potential to heal i'm really happy that you know i did eventually open my mind to this whole barefoot thing because i was kind of laughing at it at first and now i totally get it that is it for this episode of sky life i want to thank you all so much for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below your thoughts on all this i'd love to hear what you think and as always i want to remind you that you have the power to thrive you have the power to live your best life ever and i will see you next week got a lot of time on our hands yeah yeah don't have to rush a thing don't you know easy let it come let the sister sun hit ya easy let it come don't worry about tomorrow why waste your time working nine to five yeah we're so young baby and we're flying to the sky